sacrifice game from 2023 uh, summary for this film it's bad enough that boarding school students samantha and clara can't go home for the holidays but things take a deadly turn when a murderous gang arrives on their doorstep just in time for christmas directed by jen wexler written by sean redlitz and jen wexler um who wants to start this off ray you want to start it off uh oh. yeah sure uh i fucking love this movie thank you jason uh I had never heard of this. I somehow this was completely on off of my radar, and I, I don't know. I never caught no, it. A just trailer. came out. It must have just came uh, out. So yeah. I just went in blind. I, I pulled it up and hit play, and I read the synopsis, hit play, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I thought the uh, the acting was really solid. Um, I thought some of the kills were really gruesome and. I love the way this, I, I, I like that, that uh, you know, everything's secular, right? It goes back around in cycles. And I love that we're in now a cycle where movies are now doing throwbacks to the 70s. We had the holdovers earlier, uh, you know, in Christmas time. Now we've got this. Um, had that 70s aesthetic, you know. It, it, I think it was probably set in the time period, too, from what I gathered. But it looked like a 70s film. I really liked that, the way they shot it. Um, the colors were bright and popping like they did in the 70s. Um, it looked even looked a little to me like at least the version I was watching, like it was kind of grainy, like uh, like film looking. Um, I thought the story was really interesting. I mean, you've seen a bunch of these kind of movies before if you're a horror fan, but I really liked that they turned it on their on its head and threw the supernatural stuff right in the middle, just bang, here you go. Here's some crazy supernatural shit you know mm. i love that um i thought both of the uh the young actresses were were really good i hadn't seen them in anything um especially i don't want to spoil too much of it if you if you haven't seen it you know if you're watching this but uh there's uh an actress who is the primary um i can't i can't remember her name off the top of my head uh but well, there she's... was the... oh you're looking for the actress's name yeah, well, the uh, uh, the students were Samantha and Clara. Was it was Clara the uh, the one that had been there for a long time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So spoiler the, alert. Well, <laughs> John, it could have been. It could have just been that she was there for a while, buddy. You know, like, but <laughs> uh, like anyway. So Clara, this this actress was really creepy. She had some fucking scenes that I was like, wow, that's some top notch acting from a kid. Because, you know, sometimes kids are hit and miss, you know, young people in general when they're acting. Um, the, uh, like I said, the cinematography was great. The acting was great. Uh, I love the music in this, too. You know me, I've always bring that up. I like I like a good soundtrack, and I really liked the atmosphere in this one. was set really well uh, by the music choices, I thought. Um, the other actors were really great. I love the guy that played... Uh, the leader you think he's the leader at first of the uh, gang and then the, the vietnam veteran guy too was fantastic um i really like yeah i i i loved uh this line from made me laugh right out loud i wrote it down so i wanted to so say again did we just go on a killing spree for no reason <laughs> <laughs> made me laugh like right out loud um the ending was really really well done um Except for I thought it was just the last like ten minutes was a little yes. lackluster. From yes. The oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Wait till I like it. Mm. <laughs> but I liked I liked it. But yeah, it was a little like you're like oh well, okay, you know. So why it just has what, yeah, a very it's... lackluster ending. I thought, but overall this was a blast. I can't recommend this enough. This is the kind of shit I love. Uh, had everything I like in it, so I gave it a nine out of ten. Had the ending been better, I probably would have gave it a perfect score. Very right. good. John, why don't you hit it? All right. So um, before this was assigned, I checked it out pretty much when it when it came out. Um, I like the, the style, the time period. Love me a good retro flick, especially mm -hmm. when like they get the cars and the costumes and the style hairstyles and stuff right. Um, I didn't notice the grain as much it was subtle but it was definitely you know this was shot on digital you know but i'm yeah. glad that the digital grain wasn't overdone mm -hmm. um starts right right away 
like love that opening scene. Mm-hmm. Carolers just leave. Oh, everyone's wow, we never get carolers here. Oh, yeah. uh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah. Like it was that was awesome. Like they just come in right out of the gate. It really wow. felt influenced by uh Tarantino's openings to his movies, like like Reservoir Dogs or some shit like that. And like I don't know, it's just yeah, it was it there was a mu- good dialogue and the then, music, ooh, yeah. the, like the the style of it, like it was kind of like they made for the only time I feel in the movie made that gang of murderers seem cool. Like like at the beginning, they're just like the music's playing, they've got the shit oh, organized. Yeah, it was you know, def- the, there was definitely um, a, a a stylistic decision made on that. Mm-hmm. They were probably like, it, but it was a good opening scene. Yeah, yeah. It really good. Like it looked good. It sounded good. The cinematography in this is really just wow, really good. It I, I keep saying really good, but that's what, what the fuck else can I say? Yeah. Um, Samantha, awesome. I love when she was like, "Watch veil girls look after each other." Fuck, and then she yeah. went back into it. Mm. Like she's like, "Listen, man, my my girls back there." I'm I'm gonna go. Get I her. don't know why she did that though, because she was there for part of what happened. You know what was going on when when that attitude flipped when that when she changed and she was like sort of in control, right? Am I wrong, right, right or wrong? She was there for like some of the manipulation. Yeah, but and she looked I, at I, her. She 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 gave she was, really good. Um, side looks and stuff like samantha really believable side looks like scared she really good performance the um clara she she really pulled the dry quiet pulled off the dry quiet acting really well but when it was time to go evil i felt like it was a little it was out of nowhere maybe it was just jarring that's what the thing was that's because she was I so pulled back i wasn't buying it pulled back for That's like all. most of the movie like kind of restrained not really getting to know much about her and then all of a sudden i know right. why they did it but uh like here's the second act of the movie it oh. hits weird mm-hmm. uh, I, I think she did fine i am not saying she did bad oh but no, it, no, no it just but hits it... weird and then it's i don't know it's not pulled off perfectly. I, like right. uh, it wasn't. I, I want the transition maybe, into that. You know what I'm maybe saying? Maybe some like spooky modulation or something. A sub, like I like it subtle. It doesn't need to be like a death metal album. I like <laughs> you know, just like like in um at the end of uh, Paranormal Activity, not the scene with the camera where the guy flies in the camera, but the scene before. Mm-hmm. where she's sitting there and she's like i'm okay we're okay now and like it's the slightest modulation you didn't hear the entire movie yeah. and it's creepy as well. yeah yeah they um, could have done i would have loved yeah. something a little extra on her now did they give her contacts because it were, her face was so pale and her hair so dark and her eyes were dark too but i don't know i don't think they did much of anything not like, like makeup blacked wise out too. all the way but like was anything they might i don't think they changed shit <laughs> maybe <laughs> i'm wrong but did you notice anything different about her pre uh demon reveal of you know post demon reveal <laughs> i i don't i don't think i did I, I think i noticed like maybe her eyes were a little darker but maybe that was camera stuff you know that, yeah right that's yeah. what i thought too i couldn't yeah. tell cause, like some people instead of doing all black eyes they'll just do the the irises black right? yeah. you know what I mean? so sometimes like with her with the makeup and the hair and the shadows and stuff it was hard to tell maybe they kind of just put her in a dress dark. right like they put her in a different well, outfit like Right. I, I like that. I felt like she just cut loose. Like once they do the reveal, that that they give her she, their their direction was now you just cut loose. Like you're ugh. Like, I was listen, exhausted I of pretending to be. Yeah. I could have done without the dance. That I thought that that was what... weird. You know what it reminded me of? It was like they were lar- they were fucking harping on the Night of the Demons. Like like the, in both of the well, I don't know if in all three, but in the first two. Angela does a dance like oh that is uh, true uh yeah. it, that reminded me a lot of that 